Hello everyone, immune to BS here. Hey, this is probably my last video, hopefully, on this Gleason map, but just wanted to uh, show you something that I was able to do. But uh, everyone has seen this map here, the Gleason map. Um, one thing I did not notice before was the little tiny triangle that was folded over here on the corner. Coincidence? Who knows? At any rate, um, in my previous videos, you saw how I was able to take that image and uh, convert it into the Mercator projection. Now, what's interesting is that before, when I tried, this is GIMP, uh, the program I was using, which is the Linux type program, same as Photoshop for the most part. It's also available for Windows and Mac, but um, I could not create a globe out of the Gleason map. First, I had to cre create the Mercator style projection before I could create the globe. And this globe right here on the left side is was created from the Mercator projection. And the detail in comparison to what Google's been showing us, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. But anyway, um, I took it one step further and I was able to uh, turn it into a 3D globe using a program called Blender. Which, and uh, it's also available for Windows. I, I use Linux most of the time, so if not all the time. But this is a very, uh, it came out really, really good. I mean, it, it looks like the globe that we're used to in all its fakeness. I mean, uh, Australia looks just like what we're used to seeing. Uh, Asia, the India. I mean, it's just uncanny of how what it looks like to a regular uh, globe. And uh, oh, oh my, there's a hole in the North Pole. Oh, looks like the Earth is hollow. Oh, not only that, it's concave. Oh my. Ah, just kidding. But anyway, um, couldn't help myself, sorry. But anyway, just thought I'd show you this. Anybody can do it. Um, you can just play around with it and uh, it looks like a regular globe. Anyway, that's it.